for the ones who don't know, <clears throat> it's a two. It's a uh, two thousand. Yeah, it's a 1984 uh, Chevy Camaro V6. Uh, it's got dual side pipes on each side that run down to the headers. And they're tucked up under. They got a cherry bomb. There's no cats on them, but it is still legal. It's got about I think 50 some odd thousand miles on it. An old lady used to have it, <clears throat> kept it in a garage most of the time, only drove it once in a blue moon. Um, I bought it from a guy who was selling it for her because she was too old to drive and she didn't really know what end was up. And he just didn't want her to get, you know, fooled by somebody who was just going to beat the shit out of it. Uh, it had leather seats in it. Her son had changed it to the 90s Camaro seats that are in the front. I put a classic car stereos. I put a Bluetooth uh, CD uh, stereo system in it. Changed out all the speakers. Takes uh, middle grade fuel. And uh, she runs pretty nice. Pretty loud, too. Uh, nice, easy driving car. Comfortable. Not the fastest thing on the road. But, uh, you know, she'll get up and go. Five six hundred dollars. We needed fuel lines, carburetor, spark plugs, um, some suspension, and some, some, uh, some steering. It was about a thousand bucks and change. Uh, put a new carburetor in. I put a new distributor in. I did spark plugs, fuel lines, brake lines in it. Uh, I also cammed it as well. And like I said, I got dual exhaust on each side. So it's a single pipe that comes with two exits. So there are two exits on that side. And then this side has two as well. She's the oldest one I have. Uh, I bought her when I bought my house. The funny story behind it was when I first bought my house, the garage was full of like random shit from the previous owner. And my fiance at the time wanted to turn the garage into a total fitness gym. Uh, she was a little, you know, tight little body, you know, sexy little blonde who loved working out and shit. But I wanted to turn this into a shop. I wanted to turn this into a wood wood, wood shop and an automotive shop. So before it went through this whole transformation where it looks like now, it was all, you know, insulation exposed. And I was trying to move some tools and shit in here. I didn't even have half the shit that's in here now that I had at the time. So first thing I did was, I think it was like... November, December, I think it was maybe February, because I remember when I bought the car, there was about a foot of snow on the ground, and I went to go look at it, it wasn't running, so I had a buddy of mine that I used to work for, has a tow truck company, and uh, they have four-wheel drive flatbeds and shit, so I drove out there with my Dodge, and uh, I took a look at the car, and I was like, wow, this thing's really nice, the guy wanted 800 for it, I talked him down, and then once... Once that deal was ready, then I called my buddy Jimmy and, you know, they came out there with the flatbed, picked it up and dropped it off at my house. And at the time, the garage was empty enough to get the car inside. Now, you imagine the car is coming to my house with about six or seven inches of snow on it. And we literally just, I had them stick in the garage and I just washed it and cleaned it out in my garage because the way the floor in my garage is, is, is that it's pitched. So all the sides are all like sloped in and the back is pitched. So it's perfect. The water would just run right out the garage wouldn't even touch the house so it was like perfect to wash the car in there that was small and I remember my fiance got off of work and she wasn't living with me at the time so and she wasn't even my fiance at the time I no no we were we were borderline engaged because we were buying the house together or I was buying the house for her uh, so the house was in my name so I really could do whatever the hell I wanted but uh, 
I remember she came over one time and she opens the garage and she's like, oh, we're going to stick this. And, and, and she's like, what the hell is this? I'm like, oh, I, I went out and bought a car uh, last weekend. She's like, I didn't know you went out and bought a car. And I'm like, yeah, well, it was one of the car to work on. She's like, does it work? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, that's the fun of it. You got to, you know, I wanted to build it. So I basically, I ended up rebuilding the whole car myself. And the only thing I ever did that I, that I didn't do myself uh, was have the tires put on and I had brake lines done on it. That was the only thing I didn't do myself. Other than that, everything else was rebuilt myself. I cammed it all myself. I, had, I tuned it up myself. I went to a tuning shop. They tweaked it just a smidge. They didn't even charge me. Um, they saw I was missing by like a little bit. And then that was it. Uh, and it's been great ever since. And recently I've been having issues with the battery staying charged and the alternator squealing. And it turned out that uh, it was actually the belt was fucked up. Uh, so I switched the belt out the other day. And I had my mother do it because I wanted her to experience how to change the belt on a car with that is really simple um, and it was like a dollar 25 for the belt and that was it and she runs the battery charges and that's that's great I take her out for a drive but I'm really not sure how much fuel's in her uh, I haven't filled up since I think like sometime last year or the year prior one of the years prior I wasn't really running it that much so I got to really see how much fuel's in it I don't want to go too far and then run out of fuel it's not really the lightest car to push home I'd rather just go to the gas station and get a couple of cans of fuel and bring it home and dump it in the car and take the car to the gas station on top of it all. Even though it doesn't really use that much fuel, I just don't want to die like between here and the gas station. I mean, it's like six miles from my house. But anyway, guys, that's the, uh, that's the 84 Camaro. cherry fuel smell that was in it. That stuff's still lingering. I still smell it. That yeah, cherry fuel. Yeah, yeah.